You want a chair? A couple days off and you're in a good mood. Schmidt! We need the bike! Uh, Asso. What's it? Jordi. 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 Jordi Cortez. Alright, so uh, here we are in uh, Leger. No, we're Mountain in Austria. Germany. Uh, so we're in Lea Gang. My assistant here, Jordi Cortez. Thank you, Jason Marsh. I'm Jason Marsh, and we're about to do a one minute bike check on Greg Minar's new V10 Santa Cruz bicycle, downhill riding style bicycle. Is that almost a minute? That's done. I noticed the little cartridge up here at the top is different from what people can buy. That is the Fit Grip 2 cartridge, Jason. Ooh, what, and what does Fit stand for? Does it, is it an acronym? People are going to be so much smarter after this video. I, I um, had this friend that had a fork like this and it had the, air, had the coil spring in it. Ah. And he decided to take the... Hang on quick, let's look at the rear neck. <laughs> it has knob here, that's high speed compression. Mm -hmm. And what does that do? It adjusts compression at high speeds. Okay, so when you're riding along fast, you should mm. reach down and do that dive. Or if you're going slow and you want to go faster, turn more. Right. But then, I, sometimes we find when we brought it in for a service, that Geordie will leave those things loose and we have to tighten them up. Mm. Have you found that as well? I have found that as well. Jason? Yes, Geordie? What settings did Gregory crash with? Before he crashed, we changed the settings a little bit because um, he was worried about his high-speed compression. I don't think he tried to do it on, the, on his run and took a, he didn't take his hand off the handlebars to do it like he suggested. Mm. But um, I believe he had eight clicks of high-speed compression and four clicks of low-speed compression and six clicks of high-speed rebound and three clicks of low-speed rebound. What? Mm. I was reading these notes. Um, he's also running about, uh, usually 86 is a good starting point uh, for Greg. So we 86 run what? 86 pounds per square inch um, of pressure in the fork. Just pressure, not any specific? Air. No, it's air. air. But then we, we don't know about air because it does contain a lot of other gases in there. So we're just going to say air. Air contains air other water. gases. Yeah. Is air a specific gas? No, air contains lots of gases to begin with. What spring is he on? So this is the uh, the DA DHX2 shock. Um, it's a 75 mil stroke. We've gone metric on this shock. Um, it's a 250 millimeter eye to eye, and he's running a 600 pound spring. He's running a 450 pound spring. He's running a 500 pound spring. True. So I can confirm on. all of that. <laughs> But at the moment, it's set up with a 450 pound spring because uh, we robbed the spring off it to put on Steve Peak's bike. But normally it's a 600 pound spring. Tell me about those settings. Because basically, I think we start off uh, from the settings from last year. Oh, this is Loris's sheet. That, see, that's, that happens all the time as well. The good thing with the rear shock is you just go to the middle. So you put everything in the middle as a good starting off point. So, um, How do you do the middle of 22? The middle of 22 is round about 11. Mm. And see how that goes. Whenever we get confused, that's what we go back to at the middle settings. Which is daily. Which is daily. Hourly. So basically, you can't buy that cartridge. You can but, too. But when? Now? Well, soon? Yeah, soon. So you can't buy it now, so that's kind of special. We, like we that. can't buy that one anyway. These guys have been like Greg and all the other riders have been testing out this and making sure it lasts and it does and now people can buy them, which is kind of cool. It is cool. Thank you. I preferred the Marzocchi one myself, but hey. <laughs> Just because there were less clicks. Have you got any of those in there? Clicks? Yeah, the one with the seven clicks on the top. Mm.